Mark Curry speaks out after the feds raid Diddy's mansions. What's going on? 56 people in here. This is just what I like. Hey Amen. Let's go. Hey Amen. Craig Mack and Black Rob did not live to see this moment. And this was a moment like, I'm telling you, Craig Mack was so, he was so furious with Puff. He was just, he hated Puff so much that the, I used to have to calm Puff, I mean, Craig down. Like, Craig, just chill out. Let's go record a couple of songs and, you know, let's just chill out, man. We, we, we was on tour. We was like, yo, come on, man. Just, you know, we gonna make it work. He was just, he hated Puff. He hated Puff. Then I had Black Rob. Be sure he to like, Puff. comment, and subscribe. He, 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 not like hate Puff, like, it's just, yo, you be like, man, only thing we got, sometimes you realize, the only thing we got is us. Now, let me tell y'all something. Look at how many bad boy artists had to go to jail. And you be like, yo, we, 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 we they had to go to jail and was an artist on your label. So the whole time he was in jail, he was in jail and they was like, hey, ain't you a uh, bad boy from bad boy? Ain't you from, and people be, ain't you from now? Would you people be, they seeing me, they be like, ain't you, ain't you? And you be like, yo, the people had to go to jail that worked with him. Shine. Prison. Loom. Prison. Rob. Prison. Yo, man. I knew I ain't want to have nothing to do with it right when that was going on. I was like, okay, that's my calling. Everybody who's who want to be down with him is going down. And then I looked. And then I was like, yo, I'm starting to see what's going on. What, what I saw was, I was like, Mark, it was like, it's that nobody that's around him that, or even as that's around you, you know, is willing to tell him how to humble himself. How to humble himself. Make sure y'all go get one of these books too. 66 people and 70 people and go get a book. Go, if you want to DM me and you can get one of them autographed, let me know. Cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I've been saying this right here for so long and people are just now getting on. I done wrote a whole Bible about this. It's like a hip hop Bible. You got to have one, get two of them, keep one in your bathroom and then keep one by your living room table. All right. So let's go. I'm like, yo. I've been saying this thing for so long and then you got you got people you got people like I got people that's actually people around me and you be like like right now how do I feel how do I feel right now wow I'm so amazed man that God works so fast like even when you might think it's a lifetime and and it's really not a lifetime it just happens so when it happens you be like man it's it's happening and you, everything that people had to go through around you, you, you kind of facing it. Now, let me tell y'all one thing we're going to have to do. All right, this is from me straight to you. And somebody, today I was like, yo, you know, I pray for them. And then they was like, why would you pray for them? I was like, because even people, when they, when they, even when they do wrong, you know, people who, or sinners, you know, everybody needs prayer, so we can never stop praying for people. And so I, I believe in the power of prayer, so I always pray, and I'd be like, you know what? God, the same way that you can put this brother in that situation, show him a way that he can get out of it. And as long as you know, a lot of people always want to talk about the problem, but they don't never have nothing to say about the solution problem is we ain't got no money solution is we need to get up and go do something we collectively as us they be like they thought we was just you when it came to you having to go hustle to get something but anyhow um it's is when when you going through a thing and you say okay you know i know when it's 
time for me to give back. I know when it's time for me to relax, right? And um, and you'd be like, I know when it's time for me to call friends that I haven't spoken to in a while and say, hey, you know, we haven't we haven't talked. I called a friend of mine the other day for the first time in probably about 10 years. And I just picked up the phone and called him. He was like, yo, I've been waiting on this day for a long time. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, I've been waiting on you to pick up the phone and call me because I just didn't know if you we were still friends. Like, I don't know if you remember the things that, you know, our childhood and how, how we grew up together. I was like, yo, I'll never forget that. Or how we grew up like that. I'll never forget that. But sometimes that's just, you know, what I what I feel I got to do to let that friend understand that, you know, like, um, I'm with you. You don't have to reach out to me for me to reach out for us to com- 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 communicate. Some people, if you don't, if you don't pick up the phone sometimes and call somebody, if if you don't do it, they'll never pick up the phone and call you. And then what happens is you'll never hear from that person ever again in life because they won't pick up the phone and call you. They feel like, yo, you know what? I'm not going to you be like, yo, why every time I talk to you, I pick up the phone and call you. You don't never pick up the phone and call me. You got to look at this kind of stuff. Now, I've been telling Holmes, I said, Holmes, Holmes is Diddy. I said, bro, listen, there's no way in the world you can keep going on in life being this big you and thinking that everybody around you is little. There's no big you and little me. That's what I used to always have to say. Yo, no, there ain't no big you, little me. Ain't none of that. Go get you some what? Man, I'm ain't no big you little me. Just because I come and I want to be an artist on your label don't mean that I got to conform and think like how you think and all of this. I got my own life. I got my own friends to hang out with, do my own thing. You understand? That's just how I go. And we don't like hanging out with you, actually. You understand? Because this is just business. I just want to do business with you, but I don't want to hang out with you. That's how I always was. I was like, I do business with you. I don't want to hang out with you, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like the way y'all party and stuff. I don't like the hours you go out. I don't like none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how y'all get down, period, period. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I was. And I just leave that there. But look. Now. He said, do he need, Do you know, they like, do he need, you know, don't. Why would you pray for him? Everybody needs prayer. So in this time right now, right now, I pray. That, yo, let me tell y'all another thing real fast before I get to that. I don't know if Puff is strong enough to go through with like with Bill Cosby and R. Kelly's going through. I'm being honest with you. I don't, I don't think that he's able to do it. And so I really think we need to pray for our brother because you just don't want him to take the other route out. And some people do that. And but when you look at it, you'd be like, how many people took that route out as a result of energy you created? It's like, yo, everything you've done is coming back to you. It's coming back on you. Everything, every way that it go, you got jail, you got probably sitting there thinking about jumping off a building or flying your you'd be like, damn man, you be like, yo. He's playing on him with the pilot. Pilot down. He he got a pilot. The pilot. uh, Is he flying the plane by himself? That's what we want to know. Is he flying the plane by himself? Y'all give me two seconds. Anybody from Let me go let my dogs in. His daughters need to. Oh, yo, let me give y'all some game. Now, when it comes to the kids, we don't really like to get the kids all involved in this kind of stuff. And one thing I can say is the look on like Christian's face was, you know, it was very sh- like a sh- it was a shock to him, and he looked disappointed. And my 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 message now goes out to the kids because even though no matter what's going on, it doesn't have nothing to do with them. And 
I still want them to, you know, no matter what's going on in their life, that, they, you know, we still love them because we still love the kids, man. We love all the kids regardless if they do wrong or whatever because, you know, at least when you do wrong, you have a chance to correct it and do right. So we don't give up on people who do wrong. You know, we never gave up on they pops or nothing like that. You know, we don't give up on them. But that, it hurt me to see those kids in that situation. You know, I, I really did. You know, I was like, wow, you know, they don't know what's going on. They, they might be confused right now. You know, like they don't probably don't even have nobody to call to, to really get advice from. Like, do they have a relationship with Janice Cones? You know, who had the publishing? You know, did they have a relationship with her? Like, do how are they going to be okay? So, you know, we got to look and be like, ah, you know, even though this is going on and all of this, and we, I seen they was at his house. They went up in there, and then they went and they said, yo, it's going to take us an hour to go through his house because there's so many rooms, and we're going. They was just putting everybody in handcuffs and bringing them out. And then I'm like, damn, then they said that he on a he on a plane in Antigua or something like that. They said he way down there by uh where Rihanna from. But uh but uh where that place is, um um y'all know what it is. So he out there, Barbados. It's never fun when the rabbit got the Don't say that no more, man. People ain't ready for that. It's never fun when the rabbit got the yeah, so look, all right, so then that's going on there. All right, so let me give y'all another thing that I got going on right now. I hope I hope y'all getting this one right here. All right, check. So I see radio personalities in Atlanta that's saying uh, on their site, they like, yo, Puffy House just got raided. And then you'd be like, hold on now. You of all people are his, you are his best friend. I came home to Atlanta after I did the book. I could not even get on the radio to get an interview. Ryan Cameron did it one time. Ryan was like, yo, when you come to the studio, come by yourself to sit in the waiting room. And when I tell you to come in and start talking about the book, let's go. Because he knew that as soon as he brought me on air, the PD was going to be in his office like, who is this? Yo, get him off. Get him off. We can't talk talk to him. We can't, we can't be bringing him on the radio. Puffy got a party going on Friday. And you be like, damn, man, I can't even talk about my own book and stuff. So it was really tough. Jay-Z next. Now, I don't think Jay-Z next. Because we ain't, we ain't going to be sitting here waiting to see, you know, one of them fall after another one. So we just hope everybody come to an under. You know, I think one of the best things that, that they, they came up with is when they come up with a thing to help all of the hip hop artists from the past to just help them reach out and create a fun a way for them to be able to survive. Because it's hard to be famous and, and be known for like, hanging around somebody or being around and doing music and stuff with somebody like Puff. And then you'd be like, man, man, I don't, I can't even buy no medicine. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, man. You'd be like, man, this shit sucks, man. It's like, I know this, man, come on, man. People be like, I know you, you from Bad Boy for Life. You'd be like, man, look, man. Psst. Man, look, man, I ain't know what was going on back then. You know what I'm saying? You be like, man. And then you you look and you be like, I ain't going to sit here and cry about stuff. I'm going to just keep on popping. And then you just keep doing what you got to do. And then he keep having parties and then your friends keep going to the parties. Everybody be like, oh, man, the party last night was crazy. Oh, Puffy party was sick. Puffy party was sick. You'd be like, what? You'd be sitting here like, man, I ain't been one of them parties in about... Shit, I ain't been to one of them parties, man. You'd be like, damn, they'd be like, man, that shit was off the... He doing an all-white party next Monday. 
or next weekend. He doing the all white party. Oh, word. And you be like, damn, they, everybody be getting they all white. Going to the mall. I gotta, you be on the phone with them. Yo, what's going on? Yo, I'm at the mall. What you doing? Nigga, trying to find some all white for the puffy all white party. I can go into the puffy all white party. I'm not going to the puffy all white party. I'd be like, man, y'all, y'all better quit chasing around these people like this. Figure out, man, you, you love. Sometimes people love chasing around other people more than they love themselves. You'd be like, damn, man, how you gonna keep running, man? This dude right here don't care. Look, Shine Down went to prison. Loon done been to prison. Now, just imagine. You're a bad boy artist, you on TV, you rolling with one of the, the hottest dudes in the industry, and then you still doing stuff to take penitentiary chances to possibly risk your life and place yourself in prison. Okay, how many people has that happened to? Uh, 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 all of the bad boy artists damn near. Only person, let me tell you what I did. I was always, I'm, I'm gonna be smart. I'd be like, yo, I'm smart. You understand? I'm smart. That's the reason why I'm Mark. I'm smart. So I always knew how, what kind of, I always knew, man, when enough was enough and all of that, man. Like, that's it. Shit ain't working for me. My father already told me when I was young. He told me, Mark, you're not going to be a good dealer. Give it up now. And then ever since my father first told me that, and I was like, damn, dad, you don't believe in me? And then he was like, no, nah, I don't believe in you. Because I was like, why? He said, because you're too nice, you're too kind, and people are going to take advantage of you, you're going to end up losing. And then so that's exactly what happened whenever I tried to be fast. So then I realized, man, the only way I'm going to be able to get this money is just by me. I'm going to have to use my hands and have a craft, or I'm going to have to use my mind and have a mind skill, or um, I'm going to have to use my hand and my mind because there's no other option. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.